The Strongest Man in the World is a 1975 American science fiction comedy film directed by Vincent McEvity, produced by Walt Disney Productions and starring Kurt Russell. It is the second sequel to the 1969 film The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes, after 1972's Now You See Him, Now You Don't. Topic. Plot Medfield College's Dean Higgins Joe Flynn is about to be fired for financial mismanagement due to extreme overspending by Professor Quigley's science class. Higgins finds out the high costs are for renting a cow as a test subject, they are feeding it various concoctions to make it fatter. In a rage, Higgins fires Quigley then threatens to have his entire class thrown out of college. When the dean slams the door as he leaves, Dexter Riley's Kurt Russell chemical experiment mixes with that of another student, Richard Scheuler's vitamin cereal mix. When the cow eats some of the cereal into which the mixture has leaked, the students learn that the cereal gave the cow the ability to produce a huge supply of milk, over 80 gallons. When Dexter eats it the next morning he gains super strength, as does the fraternity house's pet dog. Dexter shows the Dean and Quigley his super strength by picking up an obese kid in a chair with the right hand and Schuyler with the left. Higgins jumps on this as an opportunity to get Medfield out of its financial slump and keep the Board of Regents from firing him. Higgins takes the formula-laced cereal to the board of the Crumply Crunch Cereal Company and demonstrates its effects to the board and its president, Aunt Harriet Crumply Eve Arden. They decide to advertise the powers of the formula-laced cereal by challenging Crinkle Crunch, a rival cereal company run by Mr. Kerwood Crinkle Phil Silvers, to a competition between their sponsored weight-lifting team and Medfields to see which cereal can give the other greater strength. Crinkle sponsors the well-funded State College. Crinkle has a mole on the inside who tells the Crinkle president about the formula. Hearing this, he hires A.J. Arno Cesar Romero, and some of his goons, just released from prison, to steal it. They break in, but are almost caught before they can get it. They then kidnap Schuyler, as no one knows that Dexter's chemical was the vital ingredient of the formula, rather than Scheuler's vitamins. They take him to Chinatown where they use Chinese torture and hypnotism to get the formula. They then hypnotize him to return home and not tell what happened to him. This accidentally causes him to steal a police car, leading to a car chase which gets him thrown in jail. Fortunately, without Dexter's chemical added in, the formula Crinkle Crunch has in the cereal does not give super strength. When Crinkle tries it, he ends up breaking his hand. While he berates the mole on the phone, the mole realizes that if they do not know that the formula does not work, then Medfield does not know either and will lose the weightlifting competition. On the day of the contest, Dexter realizes it was his formula that gave the cereal super strength. He sets off to the lab to get it, taking the Dean's beautiful but slow vintage car. When he finally gets there, he is confronted by Arno and ten of his goons. By drinking some of the formula, Dexter is able to beat up all the men, then uses the crinkle mole to strike Arno and his men down like bowling pins. He hears on the radio that he must return to the contest in four minutes or forfeit. He adds some formula to the car's fuel tank, which makes it race off at high speed, shedding parts as it goes. He makes it in time to compete last, but the car is a complete wreck, to the Dean's horror. Medfield is losing badly, but Dexter uses the last of his super strength to lift the 1,111-pound weight and win it for Crumply Crunch and Medfield. 
Higgins and Quigley get to keep their jobs, Arno is imprisoned yet again and the scheming Crinkle breaks his hand again after eating the wrong cereal. Topic. Cast Cast notes The strongest man in the world was the final film appearance of character actor Joe Flynn. Flynn died in a drowning accident in July 1974 after principal filming for The Strongest Man in the World had been completed. The film was released posthumously six months later. Topic. Reception The film had a mixed reception. Topic. See also List of American films of 1975